morning, Quadcopter101 here. And before we get started, let's get today's shoutouts out of the way. Today's shoutouts are is a twofer. They go to Spiron and Dragon Ears. Both of them were first to say first in one of my recent videos, and thus wins this shoutout. So congratulations. Good morning, Quadcopter101 here with a, a review of a neat new drone, the JGRC H71. So what is the H71? It is another folding drone, as you can see here. Portable folding drone for you. Uh, taking photos and videos. It's a camera drone. Now this camera is a 720p HD camera. Now this video uh, and photos from this uh, camera is not recorded to a micro SD card. There, unfortunately there is no micro SD card slot on this drone that I could find. So the video and photos are both recorded directly to your phone via Wi-Fi using the um, JGRC TST app which we'll demonstrate here when we go flying. But uh, what's special about this drone? is this little sensor on the bottom here. This is another optical flow drone, which means this little cam this is a little camera that looks directly at the ground beneath the drone and it automatically maintains its position horizontally in space when you're flying. So what this does enables you to do actually folks is uh, allows this to hold its position, allows it to fly itself while you just focus on taking photos and videos with the camera. Makes flying this very easy. It shouldn't drift actually when that sensor is looking at the ground. It holds its position. Um, other thing about the drone, I mentioned that it's foldable, but it has a pretty good sized battery. This is a thousand milliamp per hour uh, battery here, and I just cut my fingernails, folks, so it's kind of hard to open it up, but there we go. I got it. Um, a proprietary battery, thousand milliamp per hour, 3.7 volt battery, that you charge using a micro SD uh, cable that you plug directly in to the battery right there and that will charge up the battery a little red light comes on to tell you that it's charging on the back here and when it's this little port here you'll see a red light and when it's fully charged that light will go out telling you that the battery is charged i'm gonna leave it out because i want to fill a top it off with the provided battery charger i mentioned that micro usb cable well they give you one <laughs> to charge the drone with and here it is right here other things that you get in the box is the instruction manual uh, and it's actually a nice instruction manual and what you're going to want to do is go directly to this page here to see what the controls do on your drone um, the controller is actually very nicely labeled but what we got on this is we have headless mode here and um, this button also does um, let me look here on the <laughs> it has two features uh, one press for headless mode and a long press for calibrating the drone if you want you put the drone on a horizontal a flat horizontal surface and hold on the headless mode button that will also calibrate the uh, gyros in the drone uh, the other buttons on this this is for automatic starting of the motors and when you want to you start the motors by pressing this button here when you want to take off you give it throttle and it will do automatic landing by also pressing this button here you can turn off turn the LED lights on and off on the drone by pressing this button here and you can start a video by pressing this button here and stop that video by pressing the button again. To take a photo, you need to press this button here. And finally, the upper left shoulder button here, this uh, quick press will change the different rates the, of the drone to enable it to fly faster. And a long press will turn off optical flow. It will turn off this optical flow sensor. Why would you want to do that? Well, for just maneuverable flying, you know, high-speed maneuverable flying, you, you don't want that optical flow sensor uh, interrupting your flight. Um, that means you're going to be flying it manually, you know, uh, if you let go, the thing is going to drift if you turn that off. But uh, some people like to have fun with their drone and just go out and do high-speed maneuverable flying, and you can do that by turning off the optical flow sensor. Other things you get with this package is a set of prop guards. I don't recommend these, especially if you're flying outdoors, because your drone will end up like a Christmas tree ornament if it ends up in a tree, because these act like hooks. So don't put them on if you're flying outdoors. Indoors, yeah, these, these come into play, but outdoors, don't use them. Other things you get is a full set of sprayer propellers, a tiny screwdriver for changing... Actually, you don't need them for the propellers, <laughs> but if you want to change a motor, you're going to need that. Since this is a brushed motor drone, you will eventually need to change the uh, motors on this drone with uh, repeated flights. Um, this tool right here, this silver tool, is a prop puller. Um, it, it enables you to remove these propellers very easily, so you can put a new propeller on if you need to. And finally, I didn't mention this. This is the biggest thing of all. Uh, you get a nice carrying case with this. 
very nice carrying case that comes with this drone for taking it out in the field and flying it. So it all packs up really nicely inside this case. And I forgot to mention one other thing. This uses the JJRC TST app, and you get instructions for use of the app and downloading the app also in the package. So that's what you get with the JJRC H71. Let's take it out in the field and see how it flies. Hope you enjoy this flight. Good morning, Quietcopter 101 here, and we are out at one of my favorite flying areas out here in the desert. Uh, another beautiful, this is a beautiful Saturday today. And uh, what I got for you again is the JJRC H71. So let's get right into it. To start up the H71, make sure your battery is charged and inserted. And this white bar in the back, you press into it and hold it, and you see these lights coming up, red flashing lights and green. I don't know if you can see it now. So put the drone on a flat horizontal surface, and then turn on your controller. And to bind it to the drone, you have to move the stick up and down until you hear that beep. Okay, we should be uh, good to go. Let's uh, just see if it actually, I'm not recording video right now, but I just want to see if this will hold its position because we have a three mile, five mile per hour wind coming from my right shoulder, but let's start the motors and give it some throttle and see what happens. Will it fight that wind? Will it hold its position? Oh yes, it does. Let me get up close to it and show you. It's holding its position very well, all by itself, folks. So, you know, this optical flow system is working very well on this little drum. So let's lower it down again. I'm going to put it back on the pad. Stop it there. And I'm going to turn on the app and start recording video. So hold on, folks. Okay, this is the JJRC TST app available on Google Play and iTunes. And we are ready to go. I am going to start video recording by pressing this button here. And this little, there's an item up here in the top section there uh, that you can also control the camera from there. But you can see you can control the camera either from the app or using the controller. But I've started the video recording. Now let's start the motors again and give it throttle to take off. Slowly advancing throttle and plop it right there. Check again, holding its position. It's doing it very well. And let me get into the video and say, how do you like my shirt today, folks? This is a good one, huh? A nice bright one. You've seen this before, <laughs> but I kind of like it. Okay, so I'm looking at the video. Uh, I'm seeing the usual Wi-Fi lag and frame dropping. You know, you, you, you know. again, this is not recording directly to it. I'm going to get a little closer to because it's got a wide angle lens. This is not recording directly to a micro SD card. So you get that type of issue. Um, it's just inherent with, uh, especially 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi. Now I'm going to lower it a bit here. Uh, I'm going to stop the video camera because I want to try to take a couple pictures. Let's see here. Get my face in the sun so you can see me. I'm pressing the photo button. And take another photo. Oops. <laughs> take another photo. <laughs> here. I wait until I hear that photo button. One more. There we go. That should be three photos. <laughs> okay. And starting the video camera again. Now, this is doing a real good job holding its position, a very good job. But how high can it go before that starts to waver? Let's go up a bit higher. Let me stand back a bit. Okay, I am guessing I am about 10 feet up and it's still holding its position even with the wind. Let's go a bit higher. Okay, about 15 feet up. And still doing a good job of holding its position. So this optical flow sensor on this works very well indeed, folks. I'm kind of surprised because it, it is a small little sensor. Very pinhole <laughs> type sensor, but it's working well. Let's go up higher and see when it starts to drift. Again, the wind is in my face right now, so it should start drifting toward me uh, when we reach its altitude limit. I'm over 20 feet right now. Still holding its position. I, that's kind of surprising, folks. I'm way over 20 feet. Going up higher. Still holding its position. Going up even higher. And, oh, no, it still holds its position. I'm about 30 feet up. That's pretty amazing. I'm going to rotate and I'm sure it's going to uh, start to drift when I rotate. So let's try rotating it. And yeah, there it goes. It's drifting now. So coming back down again. So that is surprising folks. It could go up that high. I'm not going to keep going up until 50 feet or something like that because I'm, I'm probably losing already the uh, Wi-Fi signal. 
Again, this is a 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi flyer for people that don't have 5G phones. Uh, the advantage of 2.4 gigahertz, most people have that type of phone and could use this dr uh, drone with their phone. The disadvantage of 2.4 gigahertz is very short range on 2.4 gigahertz because it's interfering with the controller. The controller is also operating on 2.4 gigahertz. Let's turn to the right here a bit so I get the... Okay, the wind started to pull it and then it's auto uh, stabilization took over the optical flow sensor and again it's holding its position very well. I am just going to hold my camera here by this and show you. I'm not doing anything folks and again I got a nice little breeze here coming from that direction there about uh, yeah, about three to five miles per hour and it's just holding its position real well. Okay now what else can we do? I said that we could uh, turn off well I haven't I tried uh, headless mode yet. Let's try headless mode first. Uh, I'm going to press the headless mode button right there. Headless mode is active which means I should be able to turn this drone and do this type of uh, maneuver and out and back. Keeping the drone pointed toward me. Well the sun's behind me though. Let's go up to higher rate too. <laughs> Going uh, uh, uh. How about the other way? Let's bring back here this way. And I'm going to go in the other direction, actually, I want to go. I want to go off in that direction here because I can get the sun in my face. And we're going to do a, see if I can do a manual uh, out and back. Rotating it. Going up, up and out. Up and out. And I still got signal. <laughs> that wind is really picking up, folks. I'm bringing it back. Okay, the wind is about uh, 10 miles per hour right now. Let me let me bring it in close to see if it'll hold its position. This is a thermal breeze, though. It's only temporary, but let's see if it'll hold its position. And it's doing such in this wind. Turning uh, off headless mode. There, headless mode is off. And coming back down. And uh, this time, let's fly outbound. Let's I can't remember which direction it was pointed when I took off. Let's go to higher rate too. Hit outbound. And then we're going to hit one key return, which is... I forgot which one was one key return. I think i got to hold this button in. And is that one key return? Maybe, maybe I was wrong. Headless mode on. So one key return, I forgot which one was it. And I don't think it has it, actually, because it didn't do anything. So let's bring it back in again. Close, close. Looks good. Okay, I'm going to stop the video recording real quick. And uh, video recording is stopped, then restarting it. And let's turn off the optical flow sensor now and see how it flies without optical flow. Pressing this button and holding it down. That should have turned off the optical flow sensor. And there it goes. It's drifting with the wind. And let's see how it flies in terms of flyability. Yeah, it's a fun little drone. Not super responsive. Beginner, intermediate, it's just got beginner and intermediate rate. But it flies well, it flies reasonably well. But again, uh, it's trying to come into the wind. I got a good breeze behind my back right now and it's just fighting to do that. So let's see if I can turn turn it back on again hold on let go of the stick let's see if I want to see it drifting doesn't seem to be drifting oh there it goes it's drifting it's trying to still hold some position because this wind's a lot faster than that but holding that in this button let's see if it'll stop and there we go optical flow sensor is back on and it takes over right away so this is actually doing an excellent job of holding a position so not too bad a drone. Now, I have not seen the price of this yet because the listing is not available as of the date that I'm doing this drone review here. I guess I got one of the early models of this, one of the first of models of this, and uh, uh, my sponsor was Gearbust for this one, and they haven't listed this yet, so uh, I don't know what the price is, is what I'm trying to say, folks. 
but if they can keep the price of this down, this would be a very popular little drone because it seems to be working very well. You know, usual Wi-Fi lag, usual Wi-Fi uh, frame dropping, but uh, this, the picture does look nice. Okay, now I'm hearing a beep beep, which is telling me we are probably low on battery power right now, and the video is stopped with that beep beep. I'm going to start the camera one more time, see if we can start it. I took a photo, actually. <laughs> Let's see here. Stopping the video. But uh, we're going to see, we're getting a low battery warning right now, but let's see how much time we got before this actually drops. Again, this is mainly for photos, videos, as a selfie drone for beginner pilots. We want to, there goes that beeping again. <laughs> and there goes its landing. So it gives you a first set of uh, beeps, and then a second set of beeps, and then this is what it does on low battery power landing in the wind. I'm going to bring it down. Just lowering the throttle, folks. <laughs> lowering the throttle to prevent it hurting itself. In the wind, it's actually when that battery gets low, it starts to spin, and with that, the uh, optical flow starts to become confused. So if you hear the low battery, it's probably a good idea just to land it at that moment. So that's the H71. Let's get the sun in my face. That's a JJRC H71. Not a bad little drone. It actually flew very nicely. So, hope you enjoyed this flight. Hope you enjoyed my shirt today. I don't remember if I said, do you like my shirt today, folks? <laughs> but, uh, this is Quadcopter 101, signing out. Hi, Quadcopter 101 here again. Hey, if you want to get your own shout out in one of my future videos, make sure you subscribe to my channel. It's real simple. Just go to my channel page and click on that subscribe. And also, make sure to click that bell button right next to the subscribe button. That way you get notified when I release a brand new video immediately and give you a chance to get that first shout out. So, give it a try, folks.